what is going on everybody and welcome back to Coda's Colognes. Um, have something a little special for you today. Today we are going to be looking at the new YSL Myself. A friend of mine told me about this. Apparently uh, it's kind of a random drop from YSL. Didn't really have much of a build up to it or anything. Who uh, went to a local Dillard's and they're having a pre-sale on it. Well part of that pre-sale is they give away these little samplers. Something like this. So I thought you know might, might be worth a shot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an initial spray and see what we think about it. So it comes, you get this little one point, what is this? You get this 1.2 uh, milliliter tester. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and, oh wow, that's a really nice sprayer. For, when you first spray it on, you are hit with a very fresh, very clean yeah, to me, I'm, to me, this reminds me a lot of the YEDP. It's very clean. It's, it, it might be fresher. It might be maybe greener. I'm, think, I'm thinking it might be greener than the YEDP, but it, it's very reminiscent of that. I don't think this is going to be a new standalone line by YSL. It could be. Um, I could be very mistaken on that, but I don't think it is. But with that being said, though, it uh, it's very reminiscent of the Y line. I almost think they were trying to blend the uh, La Nuit de Lome line with the Y line and kind of pull those two together to make one fragrance. But with that being said, though, it's very clean. It's very fresh. It smells very nice. Kind of makes you want to keep go back for more. Um, maybe a little more woodsy um, than Y than the Y line, a little more, a little more reminiscent of La Nuit de Lome, maybe. For those of you that are wondering which two colognes I'm trying to compare this to, um, so to me, it feels like these two colognes right here, kind of, kind of an offspring of a blend of these two. I will say that the more, the more it's drying down, it starts to get a little more woody. I don't know the note breakdown on this one, um, but I'm, I'm thinking there might be some ginger in there, maybe some cardamom, maybe a little mossy, but still with maybe a woody, kind of like a warm woody is what I'm getting right now. I'm going to cut the video for a second. Um, I'm going to let this dry down some more. Um, stay tuned. We'll be back in just a minute. All right, it's been about 20 minutes ever since I let this dry down. It got to the dry down fairly quick, which is always nice. As it's drying down, I'm starting to notice it picked up almost like an, an orangey note, like tangerine, orange. I, I don't want to say citrus necessarily, but it's or, orangey-ish feeling could be. Um, but it's like an orangey woodsy. So it kept some of that green freshness from the initial spray. That's still there. And then it kind of flowed into like an orangey fresh. And now like there's a lot of woodsy notes coming up through the bottom, but it, it's been, it's blended very well. It smells very nice. By what I'm able to tell, this one is, it's different than the other two that I've, that I compared it to earlier in the video, but you can, you can tell that the DNA is there. You can tell that they, they, I think they probably drew inspiration from both of those, but it's still, it's still just different enough to make you want to go back for more. I did order a bottle of this. The bottle should be here in maybe a week or so. I do plan on doing a full review, full presentation review of the bottle that I've been able to tell so far. The prices, the pricing that I seen today when I spoke with them, I do believe it's coming in a two, uh, two ounce bottle for, I think they said 116 or 126. I can't remember exactly, I'm sorry. And then it's going to come in a 3.4 ounce bottle for I think 142, which that's might might be a little steep. Hopefully I don't regret buying that. But yeah, so if you would stick around, uh, that review should be coming up here in about a week or so. So yeah, that's going to go ahead and wrap up this quick breakdown. I'm going to go ahead and show you all this one more time. That's what the bottle is going to be looking like. So bottle, I, I kind of like it. Clean, classy, black. Um, kind of reminds me a little bit of the new Aqua de Jo, uh, parfum kind of, and, uh, and if I haven't touched on that before I forget, this is a Eau de Parfum, just so everybody knows this is not a parfum. It's not an elixir, kind of surprised it's not an elixir with the way everything's going these days. But, uh, yeah, so go ahead and show you all this one more time. There is that. And then, uh, as always, thank you everyone for watching. Stay tuned. 